got 300 million people worldwide with um, depression and uh, one third of them are considered to be in treatment resistance. This uh, was a headline uh, from Time Magazine in August of 2017, an article on the um, advent of ketamine treatment for depression. This is a big deal. Uh, chronic depression is a significant problem. About 10% of women in the United States experience depression and 30% of men have suffered from a significant period of depression in their lifetime. Depression is already the leading cause of disability worldwide. That's a huge statement. Um, and that's from uh, 2011. And it's predicted that by 2030, depression will be the leading cause of global burden of disease, according to the World Health Organization. More than 60% peop uh, of people on SSRIs have sexual side effects. This is well known. Um, if you're a prescriber of psychiatric medications, you're watching this, you know that. Um, this is troubling as people get uh, less depressed. They tend to uh, feel better and want to be more sexually active and enjoy sexuality, which is an important part of health, of course. So this becomes a problem. And then uh, there are other side effects as well. Looking at root causes of depression is relatively new in psychiatry. Um, it's a really exciting development. Uh, it's a new movement toward actually looking at what's really going on in the brain and what parts of physiology are actually a part of depression. And um, not only looking at the serotonin theory of depression, not only looking at the neurotransmitter theory, but looking at inflammation, looking at other root causes. In IPI, we teach that the degree of wellness is defined by optimization in these three different areas. So the mind, lifestyle, and body. Um, and of course, it's a dynamic balance. So, you know, a person could have um, quite a bit of health in their mind and have a terrible diet, for example. Um, or they could have um, optimal exercise and optimal diet, um, but have a tremendous amount of negative thinking or unresolved trauma in their mind. We're going to get into a, a great number of other areas for the treatment of depression. I want to mention a few of them here. We've covered nutraceuticals for the most part in this talk. Uh, the basics toolkit that is and then of course mindfulness and compassion practices can be very effective for depression exercise programs obviously uh, very important in relapse prevention and uh, gut protocols um, again a really fun area to explore in terms of gut brain connection not a part of this talk but very important in terms of looking at uh, people who do not respond to the tools that have already presented in this talk. 